Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, Star Soldier 1 back here with crazy video. I just saw Shady J's, you know, one bit here where he said, I'm thinking of top five of my favorite consoles of all time. And I figured, why not copy that idea and do my own and give my own opinions to why and all that. Okay, first up here, it's a ColecoVision from 1982. <laughs> yeah, we're going way back here, but you know, what makes it so classic for me is that, you know, I grew up on the Atari 2600 when I was a little bratty kid and all that. But once you've seen the Coleco in action, man, the games were almost arcade perfect. Like, yeah, better version of Donkey Kong. You had, you know, a near perfect arcade port of Frogger. And it was sad that there was no Pac-Man game officially released for it, but hey, there are people out there now making different types of Pac-Man games for the system right now. So. Hey, if you dig around, yeah, you can actually play some very cool titles on this machine, even though the library is not as big as the 2600. But, hey, no worries. You plug in the little adapter in the bottom here, you can play Atari 2600 games on there, and that's awesome. And ColecoVision is very cool. All right, number four here. <laughs> Super Nintendo. Yeah, this was oddly omitted from, you know, Shady J's list, like the ColecoVision, but... Super Nintendo is probably a favor among many because, you know, yeah, so many different franchises. They got sequels from the original 8-bit Nintendo, poured on it here, but now you got improved 3D effects like Bolt 7, <laughs> you know, true stereo sound, like there's a lot of cool chips in here that makes the game sound awesome, like Super Metroid, Secret of Mana, Final Fantasy 3, Final Fantasy 6, whatever. Just so many great games that you can find out there, 700 different titles, and a lot of them are very memorable. Okay, now we're moving back to 1987 with the Sega Master System. Yeah, I'm holding Model 2 here, but everybody knows the more, I don't know, uh, training or design of it. <laughs> yeah, this cool little beast has like, Alex Kid and Miracle World built right into it, and the controls are inverted. You know, it's pretty much the same unit. It's a shame that you had to pause here, but there's tons of cool Sega games that started on this cool little machine. You know, you had a cool version of OutRun. You played the Wonder Boy series. That was always fun. And I just grew up on the awesomeness that was the original, yeah, one of the best RPGs ever made, Fantasy Star. So, if you want some classic Sega arcade action and you don't mind 8-bit graphics, Check out the Sega Master System. Oh yeah. Now this one is probably going to be on nobody's list, but it should be because it's a very cool system once you play it. Yeah, the Turbo Graphics 16. Now, yeah, they call me Arizona World Champ because <laughs> I got that world record like 20 years ago. It's a Turbo Graphics 16 game, and you know I have all the Turbo Graphics 16 games I've released in North America and it was pretty easy to collect for because hey I love these games growing up I want all of them and yeah now they're going for like thousands of dollars <laughs> and it's crazy people are you know charging an arm and a leg for them but I didn't get rid of them back in the day because I didn't want to no I wanted to keep them I wanted to keep part of my childhood I grew up on this system I grew up on the Bombermans I grew up on the Bones Adventures. I grew up on the Drop Offs. But yeah, Magical Chase is not only a rare game, but it's also a fun game. And it's just a hidden gem for the TurboGrafx 16 and Turbo Duel. Yeah, I definitely recommend you get the Duel over the TurboGrafx 16 because you can play CD games. But hey, if you just got TurboGrafx 16 too, yeah, it's an awesome system either way. Okay, and what's my number one? Favorite gaming console of all time? Well, you guess it. The original. The awesome NES. <laughs> you don't mess with the NES. And here is the original top loader. Very cool, you know, top loading system. You know, you don't have the blinking effect of some of the other games, but... You know, if you take care of it, <laughs> it can last you for years. Like, I had this system for, like, over... I don't know, 20 years, and, you know, I can still play my games no problem. And that's why, you know, 
I got like a huge collection in that room. I've never decided to get rid of it. You got so many awesome series like the Mega Man's One Through Six, Super Mario Brothers, you know, One to Three, yeah, Castlevania, Ninja Gaiden. Just so many great series that started on the original Nintendo. And the original Nintendo pretty much saved the industry when Atari was screwing up every day and went out of business. Nintendo said, oh yeah, we're going to save the video game industry and we're going to come back with Vengeance. Super Mario Brothers, the original, is going to wow the world and boom, people are going to like video games again. And, you know, you know the whole song and dance, but it fades repeated because that's how awesome the original Nintendo is. And that's why it's one of my favorite video game consoles of all time. It is my favorite video game console of all time, but hey, what are some of your favorites? You know, do you disagree with me? You probably do. <laughs> but, you know, just let me know in the comments below and all that. Okay, this is the one, the only, Star Soldier 1, baby. Woo! Over. And out. Yeah.